Pavan Sektev, you've just been designated the new UNAP Goodwill Ambassador. Congratulations. Thank you. Your thoughts, please, on your new role and what you hope to achieve. Well, I've spent um, two and a half years at the UNAP, and uh, it's an organization that has a huge mandate, but it's a small organization. So I, I really see my role as adding to its voice, adding to the messaging and the communications of some of the very important uh, studies and results that have been achieved by the organization. And in particular, I'll focus on the UNEP's Green Economy Program and its report called Towards a Green Economy, which I was privileged to lead and which we presented last year. And I'll be focusing and continue to on the TEAB reports. Um, as you know, TEAB is already being implemented in many countries, and there's a TEAB Business Coalition, so that really is my the area in which I'd like to help the United Nations convey its messages. Uh, one of the key issues that you will be pursuing as UNEP Goodwill Ambassador will be biodiversity. We're here in Hyderabad at the uh, CBD COP11. Yeah. How do you see this week panning out? What do you think are the most critical issues on the table at the negotiations this week? Well, I think what people are trying to achieve is a sense of coordinated understanding of how much financing is required for biodiversity targets, the IG targets. But I think what needs to be understood is that financing IG targets is not just financing biodiversity. It's about financing the development of wastelands, the prevention of droughts, the prevention of floods, the management of soil fertility and its improvement for agriculture, the improvement of water availability for agriculture. I think all of these, and not least desertification, which is a huge problem, can be assisted and focused on by appropriate investments in the IG targets. And remember, in achieving these investments, we are also helping climate change, both adaptation and mitigation, because if you add forests or if you improve the capture of carbon, you're actually improving climate mitigation chances. And by improving wetlands or, or adding to ecosystems such as mangroves, you are adding to the ability of local communities to have better food security and protection from the ravages of storms and cyclones. So adaptation is being achieved. And a, the understanding of the width of, of benefits that are there from investing in the IG target areas of financing, I think that would be the key takeaway from this conference. It's what businesses and the private sector can do in terms of supporting the conservation of biodiversity. What efforts can businesses make now to achieve some of these goals that are being discussed this week, especially now when we are in the midst of an economic downturn? Business today is two-thirds of the economy and jobs. It's a huge contributor to the management of fiscal deficits through its taxes. So business is basically the heart and center of the economy. When we want sustainable development, we can't have any route other than a green economy. When we want green economy, there's no route other than corporations behaving in a way that adds up to a green economy. The sum of the parts cannot be greater than the whole. And this is the challenge here. Unless we make corporations behave as agents of the green economy rather than today thanks to subsidies and uh, thanks to mismanaged micro regulations as agents of the brown economy that's when we'll get a green economy so i'm focusing on what the corporation can do number one measure and report its externalities on natural capital number two be careful and be very conscientious in the use of appropriate advertising especially in developing countries so that you don't merely feed demand and miss message aspects of your products. Number three, be careful in your use of financing. And number four, lobby so that taxes may fall more on resource extraction rather than on salaries and profits. We should be taxing the bads, not taxing the goods. These are the things that I want the new corporation to do, what I call Corporation 2020. I want to ask you one more just about the Goodwill Ambassador rule, okay? Which is more of a kind of personal I need to show question. The Fine, I forgot about that. But um, let me... Let me ask one, which is about you know what you want to get out of the role, what you hope to achieve, sure. that kind of question. Pavan, what do you hope to achieve personally out of this role? What kind of actions can you take to support the goals and mandate of UNEP as Goodwill Ambassador? Well, I think partly in my uh, role on TEAB as a member of the advisory board and study leader, I can help countries like China and India progress TEAB. Uh, likewise, I can help corporations through the TEAP Business Coalition progress accounting for externalities, which is, of course, described in my book, Corporation 2020. Uh, I can also take forward to the corporate sector 
the whole idea that they need to change in order to support the concepts of the green economy. At the end of the day, today's corporation is hardwired to deliver its best performance in a brown economy. What we want is Corporation 2020, a corporation which can deliver the best performance in a green economy. So I think these are areas in which I hope that my agenda for the future is actually completely aligned with the agenda of the United Nations Environment Programme. I think that's good, yeah, that's everything. Okay. Okay. So be something that of today.